Time is the continued sequence of existence and events that occurs in an apparently irreversible succession from past through the present into the future. We use it to measure sequence events, compare the duration of events or the intervals between them to quantify rates of change of quantities in material reality or in the conscious experience. Time is the related to Old English Thema, limited space of time, and is sourced from two way Proto Germanic Timon and Old Norse Timi. For Turkish, time is Zaman and its roots from Arabic Zaman. Arabic Zaman is probably rooted to one of the three sources its Akkadian or Sami, or from archaic Persian Zamana. Time is significantly important for us. We can organize our habits and programs to work properly. All things are gradually age and eventually decay as time progress. Speed of decay can vary, but material things aren't eternal. You cannot touch, smell, taste, hear, or see it. You can only experience it indirectly. For example, you see someone get older just seeing the effect of time. When you smell a rooting fruit, you only smell in the effect of time. As I said, you cannot feel it directly, only indirectly. The most important point is nobody knows how much time they have. So everybody wants to understand and enjoy it unless the one who has some psychological problems. You cannot experience it as you want though. We categorized the time into three main sections. Past, present, and future. Past is gone and nothing can bring it back. And you will never experience as it was. Present is the now. You can manage. Future is the something you are reaching about. You can organize things you will take care of later. Time is existed and it's relatively. It passes based on experiences. For example, if you experience something that were really enjoyful in the end, you will see the time passed quickly. Also, if you experience something unpleasant, you'll see time seem like against you. There was a man explained this phenomenon with flow. Mikhail Csikszentmihalyi explained this situation simply being in the zone. It's a feeling of energized focus, full involvement and enjoyment in the process of the activity, complete absorption on the activity and resulting transformation of sensing time. This resembles hyperfocus, but they separate in some ways. Hyperfocus related on kinda every type of focused activity. For example, Playing too much game, absorbing oneself from assignments or tasks. Also, it could hold person, so the person could be unfocused and start many projects, but complete few. It's often mentioned in the context of autism, schizophrenia, and attention deficit disorder. Then, how much time relatively changing in different experiences, especially as we grow older? Because the number of new experiences decreasing as you grow older. Time is only about perceiving of sensation while forming sensations in the related center of the brain. That center also compiling that sensation based on resembling previous experience. If there's none, creates a new index and store it. As we get older, the difference of sensation decreases. Also, the pathways of storage lose its function and we feel time passes quickly. When we were kids, the number of new experiences is on its peak points. Most of them are unique for us. So, processing and understanding them take time. It passes slowly through, but not for old ones. They already know that experience. Your brain won't spend much energy to understand it, time flow fast through. Can we slow it? Don't worry, 
We can make your brain experience new things. Have you ever heard the number of planets resemble our Earth and their features? How many astronauts went to space? How many dead languages are there? And how many people know them? How long does it take to learn a new language based on our experience? Why camels? Star fed instead of water on their hump, how we can live now, travel to new places, research more on a subject, give more attention on your food, even you eat them every day, aware of water splashing against your body while you are having a shower, while you are on the way from work to home and waiting in the bus station. Focus your attention outside of yourself and look at the sky. Watch people walking and pretend like you are reading their minds. Of course, await yourself from annoying. Listen new type of music. It will boost up reducing anxiety, minimizing pain and better sleep. Stay yourself away from living a repetitive a monotonous life. Don't make yourself like you are in autopilot. You are not a robot. You are a mortal, rational animal. Flow theory say we can reach to happiness when we do things we love or love the things we do. Choose one. No, I think you understand why the quarantine period passed quickly. 